ask you just a few questions today about how the school has changed because part of community week we're learning about the school all the children go to and they would love to know what's been different and the reason I'm asking yourself over other teachers is because I know you've worked at the school for a while can you let the children know how long you have worked here? I've actually worked at the school for 23 years. I started at this school, which wasn't called Art Franklin then. It was called Kensal Rise Primary School. Okay. Let me just show you a little bit about Kensal Rise Primary School. You can see that the colour of the school was blue and the logo was very different. It was an acorn. You can see there the picture. Well, and what year did it become Art Franklin Primary then? So it became Art Franklin Primary Academy in 2013, in September of 2013. And it was a big change for everybody because everything changed. It wasn't just the school itself, you know, the name of the school, the uniform changed. And Art were really good because before we changed, they asked the children and the parents that were currently at the school, they asked them, what would you what colour do you think the new uniform should be? And children and parents were allowed to share what their thoughts were right. about the colour of the uniform. Mm. And then to do that, they looked at the colour of the uniform of the other schools in the area to make sure that we didn't have the same colour uniform. And then they decided for it to be purple, which is great. It's a lovely colour. Yeah, that's no, beautiful. So that came from the parents and the, everyone having some input into it. Yes, it did. And was did Miss Ryan have the final say back then or was it someone else? It was someone else. Of course, it would have been ARC Central Office. Mm. And then when the school converted from Kensal Rise Primary School into ARC Franklin Primary Academy, we had a new head teacher. Her name was Bethan Thomas. Oh, wow. Yeah. So which other teachers? So obviously when you when you first joined, Miss obviously was a Miss Ryan, but not working, not working at, at the primary school. I mean, has there been a big change in who the teachers are since you first joined? Who was, is anyone still here from when you first started? OK, so teachers, Miss Williams was here as a teacher um, when it was Kensal Rise Primary School. And then there's a few other members of staff, co-teachers. We have Maxine Braithwaite, we have Michelle Bryant, we have um, Yasmin Miller, we have Debbie from the kitchen also, Debs was here, um, I'm trying to think, Miss Saeed from the nursery was still here, so there's a few members of staff, um, Miss Jones who's working in the office, Dina Jones, so there's a few members of staff that are still here, but I'm the member, the member of staff that's been here the longest, because 23 years is a very long time. There's, there's a, you must have seen, I mean the changes you should have, well you must have seen, uh, you know, talking about the name, the uniform, the staff, that's already like na naming a few. I mean, looking at the playground, when I, when, I, when I joined, the playground was just incredible. All the different things we had for the children to do, be that the Key Stage 2 playground or the Key Stage 1 playground. I mean, what other sort of differences have happened, say, on the playground? OK, so the differences is that before it was just a playground for the children to go out and play. Then um, we did in about, I think it was in 20, um, 2002, so 2002, we opened the outdoor garden. And I can show you a few pictures from back then, Ooh. if Did the children be? would be interested in seeing some pictures. So, this is when we opened the outdoor garden and it was Jackie Griffin who was the director of education then. I don't know if you can see the picture properly. Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah, so she planted an oak tree. Because the logo of our school was an oak, she planted an oak tree in our garden. And I believe that tree is still there. We'll need to go out and have a look. And year two can let me know if that oak tree has no grown. Mm. Yeah? That's incredible. It was a lovely day, the inauguration of the outdoor garden. All the children dressed as bugs and they <laughs> sang and they um, sung the song going to the ugly bug ball. 
<laughs> and they well, all, all the all the year groups learned, the, learned that. All song. the year groups went out singing that song, and then they did presentations and poems and everything. This is the Key Stage Two playground, which, if you look at it, hasn't really changed that much, except that now you have the ball pens. Yes. And you also have all the climbing frames, which are new. So when, 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 if you can remember, when did the ball pen and the climbing frames, are they quite recent times? Or is that they're very recent. That's since the school became Arc Academy. And they're those so, are still from the Yeah. Park. So in September, when we come back to school, that will be eight years that the school has been Arc Academy. So Arc Franklin Primary Academy. Oh, wow. So I think the playground, well, for my own preference, I think the playground now is one I would prefer to say 50 years ago, having climbing frames, having the ball pen. So that de definitely changes there. As, honestly, this is fascinating. Uh, can I ask another question? Of course you can. Uh, as I guess I, I know from when I joined being told Miss Ryan, it's, you know, the most popular school in Brent. I mean, has it always been, uh, you know, so sought after to attend? No, um, when I first started working here, the school was a two form entry. Now, mm. two form entry means that there's two classes for every year group. Now, Art Franklin Primary Academy is a three form entry. <clears throat> we have three classes in every year group, as you all know. But back then, the classes were called orange and yellow. So when you started, you start in reception orange or in reception yellow. And there was only two classes because the school wasn't very popular. The school wasn't doing very well then. The exams, you know, the results the children were getting weren't as good as they are now. And um, and then gradually the school, we, we started having in some year groups, we started having three year groups and then the classes were called orange, yellow and green. But it wasn't until we became the ARC Franklin Primary Academy that um, they changed and this, the classes are named after the university that the children had mm -hmm. attended and that was something for the children to aspire to and everything just changed. I think the behaviour is much better now than it used to be right. and, but the actual building hasn't changed. It's still the same building and when the, when the school was 100 years old we had a centenary um, celebration here at the school and the information about the centenary um, celebration that we were going to have went out in the local newspapers in the Kilburn Times and local papers and lots of people contacted us that they wanted to come to celebrate because they themselves had attended this school and I remember we had this lady who was 93 years old and she was so excited to be here and I was showing her around and she was running up those stairs because she wanted to show me what she remembered. She wanted to tell me what room she had sat in. And it was just so interesting to listen to what this lady had to say about her time at the school. And she, she was telling me that back then when she used to attend the school, that the boys had one entrance and the girls had another entrance. Really? They didn't use the same entrance. And I thought, actually, she's right. Because if we walk around the school from the outside, Above the doors, you will see still now that it may say boys entrance or girls entrance. Is it really? It was. Oh, wow. That's, I can't believe there was a different entrance for the boys and the girls. I mean, yeah. the, thought, the thought of having that now. Is, I know, but is, this is way before my time. Yeah. Yeah. It's obviously, it's, yeah, obviously quite, quite, but yeah. what, what it shows though is even, you know, before you join, more change that is going to happen. And I'm sure, you know, the school, when we look back at the school in 50 years time to what it will be in 50 years to say now, it's going to be, wow, I can't believe that was how it was and, and so forth. So I think there's always going to sort of be more change. Just, just, to, just to bring back when you said about there were two classes per sort of year group, I guess that means the, the rooms themselves were different it within the school because obviously you didn't need as many classrooms because you only had yeah that's, co that's correct so one room was maybe an art room um like an art studio we used it others were storage rooms 
you know upstairs where we have the science lab? Yes. That, that actually used to be a science cupboard. Oh, wow. Next door to year six, we used to have where Mr. Williams sits now yes. in his room. Um, that used to be the main school stock cupboard. And the year six teacher was responsible to look after the stock and give the exercise books, pencils, rubbers, sharpeners, all of that to the teachers from there. The office used to be upstairs. The one thing that hasn't changed in all of these years is the head teacher's office. It's always been upstairs. Always where Miss Ryan is now? Yep. Oh, wow. And just to show you what a small world this is, I remember when I came to this school, the head teacher was called Miss Phelan. But before Miss Phelan, there was a teacher called Miss Turnbull. My son, who went to another school in Brent, had a teacher called Miss Turnbull. And when I went to meet the teacher, I said to her, oh, it's funny, I work at Kensal Rise Primary School. And do you know what she said to me? Mm -hmm. She said, do you know that my mother used to be the head teacher at Kensal Rise Primary School? Really? And she gave us some photographs of how the school used to be which was really interesting. And what's never changed at this school, which I'm really proud of, is that the children have always been very good at sports. Mm. If you go back in the history of the school, you will see we were always very good for boxing. But when I'm speaking to you a hundred years ago, um, and since I've been here, the school has always been very good for netball, football, yeah. athletics, they've always been really good. So I hope that's going to continue yeah. year two. Oh, well, I know in year two, there's some exceptional sports, sportsmen and sports girls. So um, I'm sure that is 100% going to continue. I've got to, I've got to say, Miss Wallace, thank you so much, though, for taking, the, I know it's your own time here to kind of talk to me and that teach the children about how the school has changed. And I You're kind of, welcome. I kind of just think, wonder what's going to be happening next, really. So, children, I'm going to carry on talking after this about what your activity is going to be. But hopefully you can all thank Miss Lourdes through your screens at home now, because that's honestly so fascinating. And we're just very, very appreciative that you gave up your time. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will be um, giving you a copy of this. I'm going to scan it for you, children, so that you can all see what the school used to look like. You can see what the uniform used to look like and how it's all changed. It's really interesting to have a little read about the school. So I'll make sure that your teachers get a copy all about our school. Thank you so much. And once again, thank you, Miss Lourdes. You're welcome. It's been my pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, children. Hi, year two. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, kind of conversation, that interview with Miss Law Des about how she has seen the school change in the last kind of 20 so years she has worked there. What your activity is today, we have a worksheet for you and let me show you the screen. Your first activity is if you could speak to someone who went to the school 100 years ago, what would you ask them? What three things would you like to know about them? Maybe what was the food like? So maybe you might write down, you might write down, I'll write it here. What was the food like? Questions, so we have a question mark. Maybe write it here. Maybe you might want to know something about the different entrances of boys and girls. Did you have play times together? Were you in the same classroom? What would you like to know? So three questions if you could teleport back in time 100 years and talk to someone who went to our school. Once you've done that, the second activity is Miss Ryan has left you in charge of the school. What two things would you change or add? You must explain why. So maybe you would want 
I would add, what would I change if I was in year two? I would add a key stage one football pitch. So, so my game would not interrupt, interrupt other children's play. That's one thing I would add. The play belonging to other children. So it's posh PS. Other children's play. So I would add a, always reading through my work, I would add a key stage one football pitch so my game would not interrupt other children's play. Maybe you have your own ideas. Maybe you have your own ideas. And once you've done those two things and you said what you would change and why, okay, so using words like so or because, explaining and justifying yourself, could you, as an extension, teleport yourself forward 100 years? Teleport yourself forward 100 years. What do you think the playground is going to look like? Can you draw it? Could you draw it on the back? And so you'll have your sheet here. What could you draw? Fortunately, I don't have a pen and pair uh, my, my visualizer to show you. But what could you draw? Are you going to draw a hoverboard skate park? What could happen? Think in a hundred years time, what might the world be like? That's a little extension. I wonder who's going to draw something very cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I'll speak to you all later. Bye bye.